Well, today I'm doing my speech over why I think college athletes should be paid. Revenue producing sports such as basketball and football bring in millions of dollars to each respective school. Athletes are the ones responsible for the competition. <clears throat> there are some arenas that hold up to 100,000 seats. That's a lot of money on tickets, not including the, metric, the merchandise, the shirts, the shoes, and even the food. And the athletes get zero of that. I find that greedy. <clears throat> Here's a quote that I got from NCAA.com. Football continues to drive the revenue train in the FBS. 58% of football programs show revenues that exceeded expenses by about $9 million. Bucks. Although 56% of men basketball programs generate revenues over expenses, the net gain is much less than football, by about approximately 3.7 million. That's a lot of money that the schools are receiving and they're not even spending. Why not pay the college athletes who put their hard work and dedication in? <clears throat> Several athletes each year suffer career ending injuries and some even suffer fatal injuries. There is no compensation given for athletes who compete at the highest NCAA levels for their respective sport. <clears throat> athletes should be getting paid because just like a pro athlete, college athletes should get paid because just like a pro athlete, they risk the chance of hurting their body and physically not being able to do everyday chores like they normally do if they was to get hurt. Another reason why I think college athletes should be getting paid is because many students come from poor families and low income and low income houses and their parents don't give them weekly allowances. Athletes spend several hours every day training and practicing in addition to going to class full time. Some athletes struggle to find meals when the cafeterias are closed. I can relate to this because I am a college athlete. Being a college athlete is like a job. You wake up in the morning just like any other person would do and you go work out. Not including the time that you have to study and still pass your classes. It takes away from your free life just like a job would do, but you're not getting paid for it although you are getting an education. <clears throat> Athletes deserve a monthly salary for the job they are working. I feel this way because, yes, I said job because I think it's, uh, I think it's a job. Me, I'm a college athlete. I will tell you about how one of my days go. I wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning and run the track. Then I go to basketball practice, which starts at 7 o'clock. After basketball practice, I have school. And then I have to study. And then after that, I have to go back and work on my game because I want to be a professional. That's not including the mandatory weightlifting that you have to do to make sure your body stays healthy and strong. And not including the study hall that you have that is required of you to be a student athlete. Today I have gave you reasons why I think student athletes should be getting paid. And hopefully that the NCAA will look over this and consider paying us. Thank you.